Welcome to Table for One. I'm the narrator, and today I'm going to be talking about Voidfall. Now, if you need to learn how to play Voidfall from start to finish, this is not the place for you. Uh, you're probably looking for Paul Grogan. But if you want to take about five minutes to learn how to score a solo or co-op game, whether you've just played one um, or if you're thinking about playing one, then this is the video for you. Let's get rolling. So I just finished playing a, a solo game of Voidfall here, and uh, whether you've played solo or co-op, you're going to score the Voidborn the same way, and then how you determine if you won or not is, is a little different. I'll mention that at the end, but you're going to score for the Voidborn the same way, so I'm going to go over that. Um, now, all the scoring criteria are right here on the crisis board down the middle. This is how the Voidborn um, is scored. Now, if you've played... Uh, game of one two or three players you should have at least one extra influence marker and you can use that to score the voidborn at the end uh, if you've played a four players uh, co-op game then you'll just have to do it by hand uh, but i'm going to use this blue one since uh, i have this one sitting around um, now the first thing you have to determine is did you play your game on easy normal or hard uh, i played it on normal here so this at the top says that um, the Voidborn starts with a score of 100. So I've got this set to 100 right now. That's, that's where they begin. Uh, the next criteria for evaluation is open rifts. So there were two rifts on this map. This one I managed to close. And when you close a rift, you flip it over. And it becomes a standard sector. And then uh, after I close it, I later lost it. So that's why there's a Voidborn fleet there, but it's closed. Now this rift up here is still open. I didn't get to that one. So there's one open rift, so that's going to get the Voidborn 30 points for the one open rift. So they're up to 130 now. Uh, the next thing you evaluate is your safe havens. There are 20 points for the Voidborn, or 20 influence for the Voidborn for every safe haven you have not completed. So I had two safe havens here. This one is complete with two fleet cubes, uh, but this one I didn't quite get there. There's... Uh, one open space, two fleet cubes here, and one open space. So because it's incomplete, that's another 20 influence for the Voidborn. So they're up to 150 now. The next criteria is catastrophe tokens and how many of those you've taken. Uh, so I've got one catastrophe token here. The other two are empty. Remember, if you uh, you can use three, um, but if you need to grab a fourth and you've already got three filled, you automatically lose the game at that point. Uh, luckily, I only had to take one catastrophe, so that's another 20 influence for the Voidborn. So we're up to 170. The next, uh, and I made this mistake uh, when I first started playing, there's a Harbinger symbol, but notice the Harbinger is on um, on a purple hex. So it's 10 points for the Voidborn uh, for every Harbinger still on the map. So these three Harbingers uh, here on the Crisis board do not count. It's just this one Harbinger here on the map. And uh, as a reminder, if you invade a sector and win combat if you successfully invade and there's a harbinger there you take the harbinger and put it on either track on the crisis board so that's how they get here um and obviously that can cause things to slide down cause some problems here on your board but it then denies the voidborn uh 10 influence at the end of the game so uh, anyway there is one on the map so that's going to be 10 influence for the voidborn next is consume technologies um, so I've got a couple crisis cards here on the board, and you can see this one here um, is saying that the uh, the effect, if you are unable to complete what uh, what the task is at the top, you can choose to instead of putting it on the board, take this immediate penalty of um, of consuming a uh, technology card, um, and sometimes you'll need to consume a basic technology, and sometimes it'll be and improve technology. So I've, whenever, anytime I consume a technology, I just put it by the crisis board face down. So I've got two of them here. Um, so that's going to be five influence each. It doesn't matter if it's the basic or if it's the improved. It's always five influence per consumed technology. So that's another 10, which gets the Voidborn up to 190. Uh, the next thing you evaluate here is uh, how many ongoing crises you have. So it's just how many of these cards are still here on the board. Uh, so I've got one here and one here. That's two crisis cards. 
at five influence each. That's going to be 10 influence, so that gets the void worn up to 200. The next uh, criteria uh, where the void board can score is how many fallen houses um, are still on the map. That means you have not successfully invaded them. So there's one fallen house card here. Uh, I wasn't able to get to Yarvek. Um, so because it remains on the map, that's going to be three influence. One, two, three for the Voidborn. Of course, there could be more than one of those. Now, had I successfully invaded, I would have taken the card off the map. And if it was the first time I successfully invaded uh, a Fallen House sector, I would keep it and be able to get a six technology. And any time after that, the card is just discarded. Um, so it comes off the map. So you only count the ones that are still on the map. The next thing we're going to evaluate is corruption. So it's two points per corruption, and that's anywhere in the game. So the first place you want to look is the map. So we have one corruption, two corruption, and three corruption up there. Um, then you check all of the player boards, and there may be more than one player. Um, I've got one here on this agenda slot and one here on this civilization track. I will point out I have the decontamination tech, uh, chambers technology and that allows you to store uh, corruption on that card, that corruption does not count. Just like it doesn't scout, count for determining Voidborn fleet power in a skirmish, it does not count for Voidborn scoring. So we have one, two, three on the map, one, two on the player map, uh, player mat. this is sort of separate from the mat, so we're up to five, and then there's one here on the agenda offer. Uh, so that's a total of six. Don't forget to count the agenda offer. So that brings the Voidborn influence up to 109, or 209, sorry. Um, and the last thing we're going to evaluate is the population in Voidborn sectors. Um, so be careful about this. This is sectors where the Voidborn have fleet power. So they have fleet power here, 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 but there's no population in the rift. They have fleet power here. So even though it's the paradise rule world and can't be corrupted, it's still five population in a Voidborn sector, which is okay. You're allowed to have Voidborn in the Paradise world. And then in the back there, um, we've got the Survivor's Colony, um, which cannot be a Voidborn sector. It's not allowed, according to that symbol there. And it's corrupted, so the corruption does not matter. Um, we're just looking at Voidborn sectors. So that's only going to be these four. Um, so that total population is four and one and five. That's ten. So that brings the total Voidborn score up to 219. Now, if you're playing a solo game, you just check your score against the Voidborns. Um, and if you've got the higher score, then you win. Um, if, uh, if you don't, then you don't win. If you play a co-op game with more than one person, um, then the lowest player's score, uh, of, all the, of all the players, the lowest score has to beat the Voidborn. Or said another way, all players must have more influence than the Voidborn in order to win. Um, so in today's game, as unlikely as it seems from the map and from, uh, from my player mat, I've got a score here of 997. So just a couple shy of that 1,000 that I was aiming for, but I still feel like it was a pretty good game. Um, so that's how you score uh, the Voidborn score at the end of a solo or co-op game. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll take a look and help you out. Um, otherwise, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time on Table for One.